Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, because see, that was some consequences that should have come to, because of our sin. Romans 6 and verse number 23. Romans 6, verse number 23. <laughs> you ready? 6 and 23. <clears throat> Look what it says. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through what? <clears throat> okay. Anybody you got a job, right? You go to work to get paid, right? And, and what's your pay is called what? Wages. Right? We all agree on that, right? Now, now the Bible declares that because we were in sin and working at it, See, you don't just slip up and sin. You work at it. <laughs> I mean, you you work you work in that scene. I mean, I mean, you you go in there and put forty hours in. <laughs> what well, a Bible to class? Well, when you work, you ought to get paid. <laughs> well, no, no. Look, th- th- think about it for a second. Jesus says, if a man don't work, he don't eat. <laughs> so, so he got working in us. But many people have been working at sin. They've been doing it. They've been planning it. They have been scheduling it. I got to go to sin. I got to go do this. I got to go do this. See, okay, this is what folks do. Iniquity is planned stuff. You, you plan to do what you've done. I mean, you even scheduled for the weekend. We're going to go do this for the weekend. You planned that, and it was two weeks ago. And the Bible declares that the wages of that work is death. But thank God, he said, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. See, see, here's, here's what I found. There were many people don't like to get gifts. They reject the gift. I mean, if somebody came and just brought you a box and said, this is a gift for you, from me, you would have to do what? Receive it and say what? Thank you. No matter what was in the box. The fact that you thought about me, Cherie, and brought me a gift, I, I thank you for the gift. <laughs> well, see, we need to go back to God and say, God, thank you for your mercy. Yeah. See, when I first started out, I, I, it said, oh, give thanks yeah. unto the Lord, yeah. for he is good and his mercy. And See, we got to go back and say, God, thank you for your mercy. Yeah. Because when I was working at sin and my payment should have been death, God, you gave me mercy. Oh, and I see in church that we've gotten so complacent. We've gotten so beside ourselves that we think we're all that. And we forget that it was, it's mercy while we're here right now. Yeah, it was, it's not your education. It's not your degree. It's not your last name. It's the mercy of God. I, I feel something right now. I, I feel, I, see, because, see, because you think about mm, where God had brought you from. Thank you for your mercy, God. God said, you got to say thank you oh, yeah, God. for this gift of mercy. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Go, go to Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28. The mercy of God. God extended mercy because we needed it. I mean, while we were working at sin, God says, I, I, look, they need some mercy right now. And this kind of mercy it's everlasting. It endures forever. See, something that endures won't quit. See, when you endure, you, the Bible talks about that we have to endure persecution, you know, endure, right? That means we can't quit even though we're going through it. See, mercy says, even though they're still messing up, I'm going to endure that thing. <laughs> Proverbs 28. Nobody happy but me. Nobody happy but me. That's okay. That's okay. Y'all just stay all quiet by yourself. Don't you, don't you worry about it. Proverbs 28, verse 13. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Mm, watch this. Watch this. Proverbs 28, verse 13. Look what it says. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall what? Oh, Lord Jesus. 
if I, if I value my cover-up plan more than the mercy of God, God says, I can't prosper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, Pastor, what, what do you mean by cover-up? I mean that you try to cover it up by going to Lake Charles, going somewhere else where you think nobody know you. And you already put your plot together. You done told your friend that if your wife called you, tell, tell her, yeah, we hanging out together. And so you got your little plan together. You already got it, you already got it systematically laid out that this is what I'm going to do. If they ask me this, I'm going to tell them that. And the Bible says if you value your cover-up plan, you, can't, you cannot prosper. He said, but those who come and confess mm, and forsake it, <laughs> we shall receive mercy. <laughs> look, look, look. In other words, in other words, when we know, because I believe, I believe every, every person knows when they're messing up. I mean, I mean we, 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 you know when you're messing up. And, and I believe that, that, that you get to a place where you just got to go to God and say, God, I messed that one up. I messed that one up. God, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I blew that one. God, extend your mercy. <laughs> Woo, Lord Jesus. Woo, woo. I, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself because I want to go. I, 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 yeah, 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 yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Go to Lamentation. Lamentation. I want to get ahead of myself. I, wa- I want to get ahead of myself. Lamentation. Yeah, Lamentation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chapter number three. Lamentations, chapter number three, page 1049. Because some of y'all are saying, Lamba who? And it's Lamentation. Yeah, amen. I, I, I felt you, I felt you, amen. See, if you had a Bible like me, it would be on page 1049. Now, if you can't find it, look in the index. Amen. Because you got to see this. Look at verse number 22. Watch this, Dennis. Watch this, watch this. You, are you there? Lamentations chapter 3. Verse number 22. I got, you got to see this. Now, now I, just, I just read that, that if you come, try to cover your sins, you won't prosper, right? But he that confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy. All right? Look, what, look what, right here. Verse 22. No, hold up. Before I do that, make sure your neighbor there. Don't let them front. Don't let them front. Because they need to be there. Make sure bump, bump, bump them out and say, look, let me see. Let me see. Let, let me see. Let, let, let me see. You found it? All right. Praise the Lord. All right. We ready now? All right. Here we go. Verse 22. It is the Lord's mercy. Mercies. There's more than one mercy, but it's the mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new. <laughs> what you say? They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Look, look, hold up a second. Hold up. Look, 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 look up for a second. When I mess up, God says, today you got a new mercy. <laughs> Willie, Willie, hold on, Willie. Willie. If I messed up yesterday, that mercy yesterday took care of that. Yeah. If I should mess up today, God said, I got a new one for you today. Yeah. So, so you don't have to stay in your sin because there's a new mercy for it. Yeah. <laughs> God, Look, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look. See, see, you don't have to live on old bread. Come on, Amen. Okay, okay. Some folks don't like leftovers. You know, they don't like to bring the leftovers into the next day. They want some new food today. Well, God say, I got that taken care of for you. I'm not going to give you leftover mercy. I'm going to provide you new mercies, and I'm going to start it off in the morning. <laughs> Woo, praise the Lord. Every morning. 